Juice cleanse. Tampon. Fork. Unicycle. Three. One. 31. Oh, okay. yeah. Sorry. I didn't want to. I know that was complex to squish the numbers together. I wasn't sure if you were going to count down three, two, two one, one, let's go. And then so 31. I was, I was just staring waiting like, you skipped two. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> What'd you do? How'd you do this to us? <laughs> Episode 31 of Can You Don't? What You're Brian you, hey, Joe, What would you do if I just talked like this the whole time? Um, call you Trev. Do, do you ever hear people just talking and like mm-hmm. in their throat and you want to... Yeah. You want to murder him? I'll punch him in the throat. And uh, when it's not like, because some people talk like this, and then they kind of go like that. But the people <laughs> that just, they're, I was at a story, and the guy was talking to me. He was like, give me advice. He's like, yeah, so you like want to go down to the. And I was like, clear your throat, dude. <laughs> Push the frog out. There's a frog in there. Anyway, <laughs> he's a magician. Yeah. He's like, he just like throws up a frog. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. You're Ta-da. on the carbonara fence. Alec Azam, Alec Ribbit. Alec Uh um, Yeah, I'm Brian. You're Joe. Yeah. And we're having or, a, we're having a good yeah, time. That's right. Having a good time. So this is 31. This is episode 31. Episode 31. I'm wearing a ski jacket. Um which I find very funny considering I wish I was naked in the summer and now I'm wearing a ski jacket in my basement. Mm, well, it's cold in, in here. In winter, I know. Uh, sign up for Patreon if you haven't. Lots of additional content in there. Of course, on the back end of every episode that we record, we do more stuff. And you can hear all of that if you're a part of the gaggle. Detrás de mm-hmm. episodio. <laughs> Been yeah. learning Spanish again. Yeah, you are. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a second. Oh. See? Yeah. See? What? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. It's just like the most unspanish. Thing. Yep. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you betcha. Uh, si, senor. Sign up at patreon.com slash can you don't podcast. We are doing a hybrid show mm. today. Doing a little dick. You're used to that. Yep. And then some confessions tossed in so we're it's just kind of my it's it's like mighty mouse yes let us know what you think about this little hybrid approach but man we got some good ones there's probably the craziest confession that we've received so far uh, it, it's insane in all the best ways and i've been hiding it from you oh you've been holding out mm-hmm. did been, you put it in a secret folder yes i as soon as it came in i was like nope and i did not want you oh, to see it i'm excited i happened to be in the emails which is hey guys at can you don't podcast.com when it came in so I took it and hit it immediately. You were just sitting and staring at your screen, mm-hmm. waiting for an email, and it popped in. You're like, <coughs> oh, God, this is too good. Hide it from Brian <laughs> with a Y. Uh, we did get another rotten sled definition Ooh, coming yeah. in. Um, <laughs> I don't think you've read this one either. Ready? Yeah. Because it's great. Our daughter, Cher, or Ch- I'm going with Cher, right? Char? 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 It's got to be like Charlotte, but oh, she goes by Char. Right, okay. Hey, guys, I can't stop thinking about the rotten sled definition, so I thought I would give you mine. Thought I'd give you mine! Exclamation point. One time when I was much younger, a younger gosling, or gooseling, mm. in my 20s, I had a mishap, or a mishap with a tampon. Oh, boy. It was a light flow tampon, so it was one of the small ones. Mm. I had put it in, and apparently I was over my cycle, so I'd completely forgotten about it. This is, this is ready. About a week later, my boyfriend and I were having sex, and oh, a terrible no. rotten smell was emanating from my vag. It literally smells like someone crawled up there and died. I was super embarrassed, but I knew I had to get to the bottom of it. Later that night in the shower, I decided to fish around in there to see if I could find anything. And lo and behold, I found a string. And when I pulled it out, voila, (laughs) rotten sled. Oh my God. Oh my God. I gagged so hard on the putrid cotton. Oh dude, I'm going to vomit. Don't worry about it. It literally looked like a piece of rotting fresh flesh from the bottom. (laughs) It still had a little bit of white, like a sled covered in snow. (laughs) <laughs> she just types out ha, 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 ha. <laughs> nasty i know but fuck it you get it hope this made you laugh your ugly duckling char i i mean you're reading that and that i actually kind of had like a little bit of a gag my throat was kind of like well, you know like frog in there yeah ri- yeah. <laughs> yeah about ribbed it up uh <laughs> tampon whatever lun- what did i have for lunch salad i had a salad yeah there. me too my Southwestern, how about you? It was a Nashville hot. I don't even know. Is, that sounds like a guitar or a porn club. Well, first of all, it's a it's a chicken sandwich, usually. Oh. That's what I get, Nashville hot chicken sandwich. From where? Wherever. Oh. Nashville. <laughs> I've never heard of this delicacy. A Nash- what? I've never had a Nashville hot sandwich. You're missing out. <laughs> I bet I am. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> it does sound like something that could be on Urban Dictionary. Speaking of rotten sled, mm. you could get a rotten sled at Nashville Hot. Like, yeah, that would be go. a place you could go. Um, that was that's so funny because I mean it'd be weird just having the idea that you have something that we're things could just get stuck in there is weird. <laughs> and so when she says she's fishing around, mm-hmm. like the way that I think I'd be so paranoid, I'd be like, what's going on? Mm-hmm. But just how she's just like, what do we got here? <laughs> what do we got like, here today? It's like when I'm reaching in my pocket and there's like a <laughs> wrapper and like 10 cents. Yeah. That's what she's doing. She's like rummaging around in her a purse? vagina. <laughs> her, her little she's like trying to get the bottom of her, like, where's my chapstick? What you, what Digging got through her day? purse. Yeah, like remember uh, back in the days at the, uh, the, the baseball card shop, you had the grab bag box? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what she's doing when she pulled out a fleshy tampon. Oh, oh, oh God. What? Well, I'm glad she it. got we, to the bottom of it. We don't have to talk about it. And I will say, dudes, it's not like... A dick and balls is just this instrument that is like that will never smell. Mm-hmm. But have you ever come across a very stinky vagina in your journeys? No. And it, I mean, women just replace fucking dick and balls. Yeah, they're, they don't smell great all the time. Maybe if the guy's wiener and balls were just in a stinky vag. <laughs> That's the only way. Mm-hmm. Outside of that, perfectly clean, no smell. Could you imagine if you were a woman? I'm sure this has happened, but like you're you're having sex with a guy mm-hmm. and then he pulls out and he wants to go ass to mouth and you're like, go, oh, go, go ass to mouth? Or sorry, not ass, like <laughs> vagina. I mean. Well, whatever. Same hole. Yeah. yeah same same hole. Same hole. Same, same hole. Deal. Same deal. <laughs> Uh, but like the idea, so you're like, and you're, and then so you're go, you're getting ready to blow him. You're like, oh my god! You're like, is that what it smells like? <laughs> like, no wonder he doesn't want to go down on me. <laughs> no wonder he said no thanks. Mm-hmm. Like, she's like, um, how about tomorrow? Anyway, after you bathe after you, and after you get bleach. rid of this, yeah, coming across some stinky privates, man. <sighs> stinky <laughs> private holes. <laughs> <Just like it's, laughs> private. <laughs> I just picture like a major. His last What's your stinky? major malfunction? Uh, a, a tampon. His Stuck. name's fucking Jimmy Stinky. <laughs> Private Stinky. <laughs> yes, sir. Sir, no, sir. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's fun. I'm sure that's happened. Yeah, you come across one of those, man. It just ruins the mood. It's just so. Yeah, it's hard to move on. Could you imagine like, throwing up during? Oh, I've gagged. You're trying to. Oh. I've gagged. Okay, I mm-hmm. think I I don't. This doesn't happen honestly. Uh, this doesn't much. happen honestly. This doesn't happen much, but I think we need to move on. Oh, like it's <laughs> the idea is it's actually kind of ma- it's making cool. me kind of ill. Good. Well, I'm glad that I was able to get you there today. Yeah. Can you smell it? It's not even now. It's not even funny. It's just like I feel <laughs> no, like it's sad. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. All right. Cool. Let's just start the show. Okay. All right. Hey, shut up! Start the show already. I was just about ready to explain to something, Joe, that... Oh, uh, what? Wait. I was just about to explain something to Joe that kind of makes me gag also. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, wait, wait, can we talk about this on the show? <laughs> it's like, don't waste it. Don't waste Speaking it. of don't waste it, yeah. um, what I was going to say was well, when you're watching porn or something, the guy mm-hmm. like blows his load in the chick's mouth. Yeah. And then it's like the cum swap where she like and puts it in another girl's mouth. Oh. Like that <laughs> just... Like the idea of that makes... any. I don't know. It's one thing like when... When it's one thing when it's my cum. When a chick blows you and like and like spits it in the sink or or swallows it, whatever, you like gets <laughs> it over in the sink or or something. What, what you know, porn like, are you watching? <laughs> no, I mean, that's not <laughs> just always con- just conveniently by a sink at all times. Well, that's because the plumber's there fixing. <laughs> he's fi- he's snaking what? the toilet in the garbage disposal, mm-hmm. and she runs she it properly. Runs it. But, but of course, she uses water when she runs it. She's not a fucking monster. <laughs> She's not trying to ruin the blades. <laughs> If anything, it's He's lubricating. Got thi- it's thick. <laughs> yeah, it's like you don't pudding. Wanna, you don't want to bind the. Do, <laughs> what do you do? They use bearings. Yeah, bearings and blades. Yeah, swingy swings. Yeah, so you don't want to get the the bearings all. So you're fine with it being <laughs> anywhere else but someone else's mouth. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, if seeing it, it's it's just yeah. So the picture that I'm painting here is like when <laughs> the, you, the the dude like blows his load, or yeah. like he you know he pulls out and she's like, <laughs> and then and then another chick comes over and like. Hey. Comes out and puts her tongue out, and the other chick just it just hey, swaps do you mind? it. Yeah. Hey, do you mind? Hey, can, I get, can I get a hit of that? <laughs> puff, puff, pass. Puff, puff, pass. You greedy bitch. <laughs> I don't know. Just that the whole idea of someone <laughs> like a jizz in someone's mouth anyway grosses me out. Mm. But then this openly like swapping that into mm. somebody else's mouth it just <laughs> like it makes me not a fan. I just like if that's if that like if I'm watching a porn and that happens, I'm like, nope. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next. 
Boo. Yeah. Downvote. You're one of the downvoters? <laughs> yeah. Down vote. Boo. Yeah. <laughs> it says in the title, it says cum swap. Cum swap I thought yeah. they were kidding. <laughs> I thought they were going to cut well, it no, out. See, that's the, usually what happens is they don't do that, and mm-hmm. then it catches you off guard. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Okay. Uh, let's get into our, our question. Are you ready? Yeah. Would you rather have a stranger watch you have sex just once? That's it. Or have a stranger watch you eat a full holiday meal by yourself. Like Thanksgiving <laughs> or something. <laughs> just staring at you in the corner. I don't know why. Oh, I'm just not rocking it over here. I don't know why that's so funny to have the word holiday in there. Mm-hmm. Like it's just um, extra sad and lonely. And some dude's just like, you got it. You're sitting at your table <laughs> by yourself, and some dude just like, yeah, come on, you're still a little bit of, <laughs> yeah, a little bit of turkey. Hurry up, Mi- just mix it in with the mashed potatoes. I got places to be. Go, come on. <laughs> he can't leave until you're done eating. He's like, finish your plate. Finish your plate. <laughs> it's kind of what we do to our kids. Mm-hmm. A little bit, yeah. It's exactly actually when I think about it. Exactly what eat the broccoli. Eat the, we're not getting up to eat the goddamn broccoli, dude. Every morning, my kids sit there eating breakfast, and I sit on the couch and I go, take a bite. Mm-hmm. And then they're then I'll look over him. I'm like, take a bite. He's like, I did. I'm like, no, you didn't. He was like, starts chewing. He was holding it in the side of his mouth. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, anyway. Uh, yeah, that's that's really awkward. Mm-hmm. Um, well, so with the sex though. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I wouldn't mind the sex. What? I, guess, I, don't, I don't. I don't. I don't. I wouldn't mind someone watching me have sex. You'd rather they do that than watch you eat a holiday meal. <laughs> I don't know. Let me. Can we just talk this out? Okay. 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 Sorry. <laughs> well, you take me okay. fucking against the wall. Wait, that's not weird. I'm painting you with a very <laughs> yeah, I know. specific brush. I hear you. All right. Let's just, let's talk it out. Let's okay. feel this out. All right. All right. Um, but thinking about the sex thing does not weird me out at all. I don't have like a voyeur kink, really. Um, so I it doesn't w- turn you off? Is that what you're saying? <sighs> yeah, it doesn't really. If I knew them, probably more of a turn off. Like if it was like my brother. Your mom. <laughs> my mom. Yeah, are you? Actually, I'd be fine with well, you watching. Well, God's watching you all the time. Yeah, well, that doesn't stop and me Santa. from a lot of shit. Just so. Santa and God <laughs> sitting, <laughs> like sitting they're like, yeah, they're, best they're friends. sitting on a couch. It's the only two all-seeing eyes. <laughs> they're like, they're eating <laughs> snacks and just watching you plow. Just fuck trails mi- trail mix. Trails <laughs> mix. Trails mix. <laughs> what am I doing? Happy trails. <laughs> Happy trails, apostrophe S. Trails mix. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, and then a stranger watching you eat a full <laughs> holiday meal by yourself. It really does depend on the stranger, too. It really what does. if it was somebody oh, that was like a homeless guy? He's really hungry. And let me just clarify. If it says, would you rather have a stranger watch you have sex? So again, like it has, mm. so it's someone I don't know, and I, I did not pay attention to that the first time around. Um, it okay. depends on who the stranger is. If, for me, if it's like if it's a really sexy, sexy stranger per- person, it's just like yeah, and she's like judging you, like oh, that's what he does. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if it's like a homeless guy who's just happy to be in the house and warm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's like, for once, doesn't have to be in a box. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, dude, whatever. Do He's whatever you want. one out. Please, for the love of God, take your time. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. the longer you take. He, he's, yeah. just, he's endlessly trying to ruin it. Yeah. Just so he could be in the warm house For me, longer. he'd be like, oh, dude. Like, I just was, my That's fingers it? were just getting warm. Right. Right. My fingers, you son of a bitch. Like, I have to leave already? Do it again. <laughs> uh, but I was thinking about other weird things. That having a stranger watch you do, just in like typical, like obviously privacy things are weird, like masturbating. Mm. Would you rather, let's just take a little side quest here. Um, When it comes down to the first part of this question, would you rather a stranger watch you have sex just once, or would you rather a stranger just watch you jerk off? Sex. (laughs) Yeah. Because jerking off is such an intimate. If I'm doing this, you're doing it too. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) There's just something like masturbation is, it's one of those things that's just, it's, it's your most... All the other than like taking a shit, it's like your most vulnerable <laughs> state, right? Yeah, because at least with sex, like you're, it's an interaction with another person. You kind of doing what you're supposed to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Imagine me, you're just sitting there. But imagine hey, you're like, cheating <laughs> the system. That's what you're doing with masturbation. Yeah, <laughs> but like you, you know, you're you're just doing things you don't. It's things that you don't let other people see. And then mm. anytime you do something that you try to hide from people, yeah. it's such a personal thing. Personal endeavor. Yeah. Like, like a holiday meal isn't <laughs> like that because <laughs> it's still weird. You're kind of rooting them on. Like imagine the guy rooting you on while you're yeah. masturbating. It's it's like, like, you can you, do it. You got it, dude. One more serving, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't know what you don't know what stranger you're gonna get. That's scary. Okay, so back to what I was saying. 
So a stranger watching you do like privacy things, yes. But what about like, I don't know, like changing your oil? <laughs> like just things you, uh, and as a man, you're like, I should know how to do this. Can he say anything or is he just watching, kind of like ba- judging you? It's basically like a, a dad is who, like you're trying to show him that you have made it far enough to change your own oil. And your dad's like, mm-mm-mm. Look at you, you fucking idiot! Still as dumb as always, huh, Bry? Well, I can give you, I can give you an example, yeah, of, sort of of that. Mm-hmm. So I we went up s- snowboarding last weekend, yeah. and uh, that's it was my first time. I like and that. There's people telling me like advice, this, this, and this. But then when you when someone is like standing there with you and you kind of know them, and they're like, do this, this, and this, and then when you get up to go do it, I mean, you can't help but feel like they're breathing down your neck they're in right here yeah and they're, they're watching everything Toe you do side. because they want to give you advice Toe side. Like if i'm if i'm fine mm-hmm. if i just go by myself like i do much better than if because that's what I, it's that feeling of someone just watching you it's so like if, someone critiquing your golf swing yeah keep your weight balanced a little, bit, mm-hmm. little farther back imagine your hands having in sex now like, and the guy's like in the corner going <laughs> a sex coach Come on, now give it now <laughs> give her the swirl give her more dick i can't yeah. <laughs> She Cut. needs more. Can't you see she needs more? <laughs> Can't you see she needs more dick? I know that. <laughs> I know. Do you need help? I don't know why she's still here. And he's got his giant dick out. Yeah. He's like, do you need help? And he's <laughs> mad. He's this fucking dick up to his shin. Would you like my assistance? No. <laughs> <laughs> Please leave. I got some extra dick over here if you need <laughs> yeah, it. I borrow a couple inches. Here you go. <laughs> Just <laughs> slice off. A... Just slice off. A little saw blade, a little jigsaw. Mm. Here you go. Put this in the middle. <laughs> what? Uh, no, okay. it's like, put add it to the tip. Add it to the tip. Okay, fine. Yeah. It's an <laughs> extender. It's a dick extender. You know what it is? It's the stacked mushrooms in Mario. Uh, when they, yeah. get the, they get all stacked up. Uh-huh. That's what you're doing there. Um, yeah. We're getting off track here, aren't we? We are. But yes, I mean, but I but I hear you. I, I feel you. I get what you're saying. Um, what about this, Joe? Yeah. Um, like, what if, like, just imagine just reading a book. So you're sitting mm-hmm. on the couch or whatever in... And you are laying in bed, and you're reading a book, and you look over, and the person's just staring at you. Because mm-hmm. there's no nobody's talking, mm-hmm. so it's dead silent. But these eyes just Watch peering you read. through you. Mm. You're like, <laughs> and you know that the, you your brain's going wild. He's, he's like, God, he knows I can't read. Yeah, yeah, that's what he. Yeah, <laughs> who, who am I kidding? Well, the thing is, is like you want to get caught up in the story because. For reading for me was it's never been fun because I'm always thinking of something else, mm-hmm. so I could never get engorged in a story mm-hmm. so if you're just half-assing a story because you feel like someone's watching you mm-hmm. that would just suck because you can't get in the story and you want the person to leave if you add in any sort of disappointing sigh to either one of these situations i don't care what stranger it is <laughs> yeah where they're always like <sighs> <laughs> shut up like <laughs> anything like you're eating food and the guy's like <sighs> <laughs> you're like what what am i doing is this an, is uh what is that it's the gladiator mm. are you not entertained are you not entertained <laughs> yeah, but at folding laundry you're yeah. like doo, 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 and you look over and someone goes oh, man that's what my wife does learning nothing <laughs> she's like good Don't. for nothing i'm i'll be folding laundry I'm trying to help out around the house and she's mm-hmm. like uh, just she's making noise like it uh, 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 oh, do you want to do this? <laughs> no, 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 you, you got it. Like, okay, do I, I? I'll fix it later. Yeah, yeah, I'll fix it. When or you, we could just uh, swap jobs. Yeah, we could just. I'll just play video games, and you <laughs> do this. Yeah, you could watch me play video games. Yeah, while well, you do this the correct way. Yeah, I'll you carry could it down stare there. at me while I'm playing video games while you're folding laundry. <laughs> Kids are pretty good at making that shit weird, like just staring at you. Oh yeah. When you're just like, why are you looking at me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what are you? Can you? Especially stop when you're that? pooping. Mm-hmm. Hi, are you busy? Kinda. Yeah. yeah. Can you put batteries in my truck? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Can you wait three fucking minutes? Can I get this giant turd out of my ass that I've been trying to get out all week? <laughs> Help me with the batteries as soon as possible, bud. Please get the fuck out of the bathroom. And they're just getting pissed because you're not doing it right now. Mm-hmm. What about figuring out a math problem? Need worse. Yeah, gets worse. Like a that, really having to think or a sciencey thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. when you really put things, you're doing some critical thinking, and someone just stares at you. Because you're doing the whole thing where you're like staring off, like ah, mm. trying to figure it out. You're carry the one, mm. and you look over, and these eyes are just staring at you, waiting for you to have all the answers. <laughs> uh, kind of like your kids again. Yeah, exactly. Bringing it back. And you brought up before the show uh, about just how weird drawing a picture of somebody is. Yeah, which is. I had never thought about the being the subject mm-hmm. of a picture. I mean, I, I guess I've thought about it, but not to the extent of what's going through your head. 
Well, there's a couple different things. Am I still enough? Because yeah, because you're because now you're you're like you feel like the person drawing you, like you should be judging them based on their work, mm-hmm. but they're actually staring at you. So you're like, am I modeling good enough? <laughs> right. and, and then you can't say Suck anything because they're going to yell at me. Mm-hmm. Is this going to be good? Am I a good model to them? Mm-hmm. So now you're all anxious while the other person is Man. embarrassed because they're like, are they going to like my drawing? It's just a really weird. Yeah. I've never been. I never that, thought of it until today. Yeah, I've never been in that situation before, but I do have a weird memory of being young and my stepmom who was an artist like had sketches of naked people and that was like i asked about the naked people in the book and she goes oh yeah i know you have a go to an art class and then like somebody stands uh in the middle of the room and everyone draws a naked person mm-hmm. i remember beavis and butthead did that how weird is that entire situation yeah and i guess maybe it shouldn't be as weird as society has made it but it's still pretty weird we're like, hey, um, here's this, here's this dude or woman. They're just gonna be naked over here. Draw them. There's no other way to do this besides have a person stand there and be naked. And how, and like, if it's an attractive woman, how are you? I mean, how are you not? Because like, you're an artist, up? okay? No, you know how to compartmentalize. Now is art time, not play time, Bri. I don't know. This is business. It's just strictly those those boobs are business. <laughs> could you could you start playing with yourself a little bit? I just want to <laughs> no. get like an, I want it to be uh, it's gonna real. Be, it's going to be on your off on your off hand though, not your uh, your drawing hand. So. No, not the person drawing, oh, the model. <laughs> I thought you're asking like me. I don't, like I don't want you to sit still. <laughs> I want you to fiddle with yourself. It's like you're asking me personally. Like, can you play with yourself a little bit while you draw? Like, <laughs> right oh. now, <laughs> while you while you do the show, I can mean, you play like, with yourself. I guess. I don't these, think there's enough room. <laughs> I got these guys, table. I got these gloves, and I don't know. It's, it's a whole a challenge. Thing. Okay, so going back to the food, going back to the question: sex just once, or eat a full holiday meal by yourself in front of a stranger? Well, hold on. No. What What about you? Like. Hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to not jerk off in front of you. Like, I'm like, just trying to skate on by it. <laughs> what do you ima- think, buddy? Imagine, <laughs> like, imagine getting horrible news. Okay. Like you, your, your phone rings mm-hmm. and you just get this call and then there's someone just in the corner. <laughs> You're like over there crying like, what? how did it happen? And blah, blah. And you look, there's a person just staring at you. Mm-hmm. Like you're getting the worst call of your life. That, I mean... You, uh, uh, never mind. It's not going to be good memories. Can I do it anyway? Yeah. I was, I, I was kind of that person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. yeah. When I was dying. Yeah. And then you got the call that your dad was dying. Yeah. You were dead. And I was just like looking at, cause I knew you were upset, but I want to hooked up to the, all the machines, just looking at <laughs> Bry guy like, Oh no. Like what just happened? And you're like, I gotta take this. And I'm like, Oh shit. Like, I had no idea what happened. So I did kind of just stare at you. <laughs> Well, well, I was in a hospital bed. Like, what's happened to Brian right now? Not just you. Oh, it yeah. was like the nurses with you too. Because mm-hmm. I walk back in the room, like, uh, I think, I think my dad may have just died. Mm-hmm. And the, and then you were looking at me like, what? And then the two nurses that were working on you look <laughs> over. So I've got three people staring at me. <laughs> what a shit! I, I completely forgot about how weird that whole situation the whole was. Thing was crazy. <laughs> crazy. Because we we were we took you to the ER. Yes, we took me to the ER. I Ubered home. <laughs> Yeah, with a guy. Sorry, I couldn't hang around. <laughs> yeah. You're like, hey man, go. I was like, you got it, dude. So I hop out, just Uber my ass back home. Imagine, <laughs> ima- I just imagine like the the black van showing up to the hospital for you, waiting. I was like, no, I'm good. Look at me, I'm walking. Uh. <laughs> it's like the Grim Reaper. Every time you see a black, <laughs> he van. slams the door. <laughs> He's pissed. <laughs> God damn you know it! Gas I wasted to get here. <laughs> get over here, thinking I had some business. <laughs> Fuck. But when I, <laughs> I don't think I ever shared this with you. When I was walking out, they, the people that were like, because they make you go out in a wheelchair, I guess, if you have heart stuff. So mm-hmm. they, I was out in a wheelchair and like, oh, they're like, okay, we well, have someone picking you up, right? Like a duh. <laughs> yeah, of course I do. I got family and friends. <laughs> like it's getting an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> this was fresh too. Still oh, after. I know. It was, you have, Oof. you have family to pick you up, right? <laughs> I'm like, uh, <laughs> well. <laughs> I would have technically. <laughs> technically, they're busy. I'll just get an Uber. I don't. I don't want to trouble them. This was very it's spur of the moment. Everyone's busy. <laughs> Everyone's busy. It's the middle of the day. It's the middle of the goddamn day. How'd you day. get here? Oh well, actually, the guy that brought me <laughs> also had an emergency, so he had to go. Can I, anyway, can you give me a ride home? <laughs> just ask the nurse for a ride home. I actually live not too far from here. You just push me. <laughs> just push me. Yeah. Just let me borrow this wheelchair. I'll bring it back in a week. Well, we can't have you do that because you might have a heart attack on the way home. <laughs> Fair. Okay. Roll me back in. Okay. So let's let's wrap up this. <laughs> let's wrap up this question. Would you rather 
Stranger watch you have sex or a stranger watch you eat a full holiday meal? Really quick. For the experience, I want to go with just sex. I don't care. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with it just because. Really quick. Yeah. And then we'll get back on track here. (laughs) You betcha. Imagine getting the bad news Mm -hmm. and the person watching you verbally orgasms. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Based on one of our (laughs) our other conversations. If I'm just laying in that bed. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, he looks upset. Just... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> everyone's so confused sorry it's a whole it's, thing not only is it someone you don't know listening to you get bad news but then he is turned on by it oh my god he's so sad <laughs> oh can you, can you get sadder <laughs> can you get sadder can you go punch him this is a pretty sad situation as it is some dude's watching me <laughs> right. or eat my meal you uh-huh. know mm-hmm. alright anyway <sighs> um, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with the eating Holiday meal. Yeah, just because Spend sex is still so yeah. intimate. Sex unless stuff. we're unless we're going with the homeless guy <laughs> who just wants to be warm. Now, yeah, I'm, helping, now, you're, now I'm helping somebody yeah, out. Yeah, now it's a philanthropy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now it's a whole mission. Philanthropy sounds like a sexual thing too. <laughs> yeah, an endeavor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh okay, well let's move on. Okay. <laughs> Fuck it. We're killing it. Hey. Hey, what's up, babe? What are you thinking about? Ah, uh, you know, nothing. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking about a lot of shit. What are you thinking about? Hey, Brian. Mm. I hope you don't mind. I didn't have time to do my hair today. Mm. Have, have you noticed? I never do my hair, so I don't care. Oh, okay, cool. Which one it is? looks the same, doesn't it? I don't know. It's not a little less fluffy in the front? Yeah, a little, a little less... Uh... It's thin, though. It's thinning out in the <laughs> okay, front. thanks, bro. So, <laughs> this is going back to an experience I had about, uh, I want to say, two months ago. Okay. And we're going back to a cashier situation, which if you have followed me over from another podcast, <laughs> you know that I have, um, am I fucking bothering you? That was from a Pita Pit experience. Oh, I thought you were talking to the, your sound bit. Ba- oh, ba- no. Bed. This is, that's just killer. Oh. That's just shred fest <laughs> over there. <laughs> no, but there's a, a local chain restaurant for the, I think the Pacific Northwest I don't I don't know for sure called Sweeto Burrito mm, it's good it's good it's great it's like a it's like a fusion gourmet burrito place where you'll get a burrito but like one will have hash browns tater tots steak queso like mm. just things mm. you know mm. just Stop. loading mm. that thing up do we so, have one in Coeur d'Alene? yep getting one on the way out sure do uh, so I take the kids to Sweeto Burrito they they love it we have fun. Always a great experience. I just want to lead with this. Love myself a Sweeto Burrito. Mm. So we go into Sweeto Burrito. And if you're uh, currently not sponsored, if Sweeto yeah. Burrito is listening, though. Oh, well, after they hear this story, they might not, <laughs> might not sponsor us. And it wasn't really... Okay. So uh, Pepper, we got in there. I know what Pepper wants. And Pepper's a preteen, so she wants nothing to do with her family. So she goes and sits in the mm, corner. Yeah, with her uh, headphones on. Yeah, she's picking out, picking out the table. Ezra follows me up to the cashier. So we're going to order all of our food. He just wants to look at all the electronics on those. Yeah, he's pushing shit and you know, he just wants to make sure the things beep correctly <laughs> uh, and things like that. So he's listening to dad do the order for everybody. And I, I go through it. Uh, I get myself my burrito meal. I get Ezra. Carnivore? Uh, no, I, I usually go with the white chick or the sweet burrito. Ooh. Yeah. My wife gets the white chick. It's really good. She's so brown though, so it's kind of weird. But <laughs> so it's a borderline racist. Yeah. Uh, so, and then Pepper got I don't know. I, I think it's just a quesadilla. Again. She's like, yeah, yeah. She's like, I don't care. I'm turning to TikTok. I don't care. So She's like, which I am proud. She's like listening to emo music that mm-hmm. I grew up on. So mm-hmm. I mean, be a sad. Was she you taking want. back Sunday? No, she's uh, my Chemical Romance. Oh, yeah, my Chemical Romance and Story of the Year, mm. The Used, mm. Finch. Mm. Yeah, like some, some good emo mm-hmm. stuff. So anyway, uh, ordering stuff at Sweet Up Burrito, and we get done with the order, and I have my card out, and I'm just looking down at the card reader. And Ezra's off to my left, so he's in my perif. I can see him off to the side of the counter. And I'm just standing there, and I'm looking down. And then I like after like 10 seconds go by, I just glance back up, and the guy's just still looking down at the screen, like kind of pushing stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, all right. And then <laughs> he's just randomly pushing buttons. I don't know what he's doing. I can't see. Beep. So I stand there, I got my <laughs> card out, and I'm looking at the card reader, just waiting for the next step, because I'm all done. Because you have to, it does it say wait for cashier? Yeah, it doesn't say, it just has like the, the default logo for a card reader. Okay. Whatever the comp, Verifone, or whatever the <laughs> Ver- fucking. Verifone. <laughs> yeah. Verifone. We're not 80s. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I can see as, and we're, it, so much time has passed. 
I don't, I, 30 <laughs> seconds at least, which is a lot when you're just standing next <laughs> yeah. to somebody, right? And Ezra. It's sex, that's a whole sex thing for me. <laughs> and Ezra's brain, I mean, he's all over the place, so he can entertain himself forever. And he has found, he has noticed the amount of time. <laughs> That we're standing there to be a little suspicious. So he's someone with autism who doesn't pick up on. <laughs> yeah. So he just like peeks up at me. <laughs> he just looks at me, and I look at him, and I give him a little smile, and he just like smiles back at me, then looks back down at the counter, <laughs> and uh, maybe another fifteen to twenty seconds go by. So we're damn near a minute of me just standing there with my card out, and the guy <laughs> behind the counter not saying shit. Um, and my Ezra's smiling, I'm laughing a little bit, and then the guy behind the counter, I will never forget this. <laughs> He looks up and he goes, uh, you waiting for someone else? <laughs> <laughs> and I just go, no, just waiting to pay. <laughs> and he goes, oh, okay. Th- this story's Dude, not over yet. Fucking it, Trevor, come on, it man. Ke- it keeps going. It keeps going. But after that happened, and he goes, uh, you waiting for someone else? It, fuck, it just went back into silence again after I went, no, I'm just waiting to pay. And then <laughs> Ezra's doing the same side eye. <laughs> like, what is happening? And maybe another 20 seconds go by and he goes, how are you going to pay? I have my fucking card <laughs> ready to slide in, in the my hand. I've had it for four minutes now. No, we went a minute and a half looking at the thing I'm using to pay. <laughs> like, I'm waiting. Like, there's, nothing, there's no other uh, instrument for payment over mm-hmm. here by me. The only option is for me to stick my card in this glowing box. <laughs> and you just got to push the buttons. And he goes, uh, how are you going to pay? And I was like, just with the card reader right here. <laughs> and Esther's going, <laughs> like, he's like laughing. Oh and I feel, I, mean, I feel bad. I don't know what this guy's going through. I don't know his mental state. I don't, I don't know how high he is. Yeah. And then after I say that, he goes, oh, okay. And he just goes, and pushes like 40 buttons thing lights up and transaction is done and I walk back and then Ezra's like <laughs> as I'm walking back with our cups to film up Ezra goes what was that all about <laughs> well, he's like what just happened I was like I don't know wait till we get back to the table we can mm-hmm. tell Pepper shup, 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 shup. I, and I just I will always remember that for the rest of my life and so will Ezra because every time we go anywhere uh-huh. I've, I've felt it over the last couple of months you walk up to a cashier to pay there's always a little side eye mm-hmm. he's like is like, this is the this time is this the time it's going to happen again just, just a minute uh, you waiting for someone else <laughs> what <laughs> what are you what are you talking about am I waiting for someone else <laughs> like who does that in what situation I was, I was sitting down and trying to rack my brain around a situation where that would make sense as a question to ask. Only if you were standing back. Or if I kept looking back. Yeah. Like and like looking at my phone <clears throat> mm-hmm. and kind of giving an indication that I'm look I'm waiting for another I got I'm trying to fit something else in. Uh that was about it. The only time that happens though is when you're you're or like, if I looked at them and said, Hey, I'm waiting for someone yeah. else. <laughs> well, if you're waiting back a little bit and they're like, Hey, uh, can I, I I can help you right here. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm waiting for somebody else. Mm-hmm. That's my line. Yeah. Not yeah, his. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not your line. You can't <laughs> you took my line. Yeah. Yeah. Line, <laughs> line. He took the wrong one. Line, line. He stole it. Man, it's hard to snap in. Yeah, it is. Fingerless gloves. Yeah. Um, you know what would have been funny is he if he actually <laughs> did mouth a <laughs> when you did that. <laughs> yeah. Like imagine if you're like, all he needs to do is say, okay, <laughs> and then doesn't push anything. He opens his mouth and he's like, <laughs> yeah, he's, points yeah. to it. And you're like, what <laughs> is this a new? I mean, I'll try it. Isn't that's ATM, right? <laughs> yeah. Ask the mouth. You yep. get it. Um, PDM, pocket to mouth. Mm. Uh, CDM, card to mouth. But I, I guess I had to share that story. That's Ezra, so funny. Uh, yeah, I, I wish Ezra was here. He's in school right now. But he would love to come down here and explain it because he has told his teachers about it. He was so fascinated <laughs> about the guy <laughs> who just stood there. Um, you waiting for someone else? Uh, nope, just waiting to pay. <laughs> that was all we had. That's it. I love that there's, the there's story. you guys have that little moment too yeah. now wherever you go somewhere. <laughs> I mean, forever. You could, you could be... Mm-hmm. An old man. Especially with him. Yeah. Yeah, his autism's never letting that one oh, go. Oh, yeah. It's 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 like there's a safe place for that <laughs> yeah. one. Always ready to bring up. Uh-huh. And he's brought it up before. I'm like so proud of his like little, because I mean, one of his biggest thing is social interaction. Mm-hmm. Or one of his biggest issues is figuring out like when it's okay to talk about sprinklers and talk about <laughs> scoreboards and not bore people to death. And he's trying to figure out like the balance and not force them into his world. Wait, they're not excited about sprinkler heads. <laughs> right. So we we're working on that. Um, but we were, we were at home, we were about to leave and I was doing something 
And I was like, he's kind of froze trying to figure out what I was doing. And Ezra just goes, you waiting for someone else? <laughs> nah, I was like, yeah, nice. you got That's it. That's my boy. You get it. He's got, he's funny. You know, like we come yeah. over here and we'll start chatting about ideas. Him and Pepper, they both start uh, the whole. Riffing off of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's pretty funny. Like the impromptu, like, and. Mm-hmm. and yeah, yeah. yeah the they, yes, and. Yeah, they feed in. Uh, okay, let's get off to a small little dick today. Okay. All right. Is it dumb? Is it interesting? Is it cool? Then it's dick big. Oh, you're wearing a loud jacket too? I am. And I, every time I, my, my beard hair is just long enough, so like I've, I have an itch and we're talking, oh. and I'm like, oh, it's just super. You, you can hear that. So that, I keep forgetting to like, get, get off that, camera. Get that deep scratch. Okay, so our one, <sighs> our one piece of dick this week. Gosh dang it, I found this so funny, and I hope you do too. Headline. Ready? Yes. Pigeon wearing crystal meth like a backpack <laughs> caught inside British Columbia prison yard. Oh, was he <laughs> bringing it in? <laughs> so funny. <laughs> to think about. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, the I'll, little I'll, straps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. His mama page. Like mama uh-huh. page. You gave him a little kiss on the forehead uh-huh. before he carries his meth like backpack into a, into a prison yard. <laughs> Be safe today, honey. Be safe. <laughs> Nearly a century ago, a pigeon breeder approached federal custom officers with a bit of an odd problem. The pigeon he'd recently sold to a buyer in Mexico had flown back to his home in Texas with two aluminum capsules full of cocaine tied to its legs. After a brief investigation, officials announced their conclusion. Carrier pigeons, pigeon smuggling drugs, <laughs> which is... Like, I don't even have to read this mm-hmm. whole fucking story at all. But anyway, so th- this picture, the birds were caught with pills and powder stuffed into mini backpacks, tiny baggies, or zippered pouches, sometimes foiled because they couldn't get off the ground with all the weight. <laughs> 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 Trying to... <laughs> God damn it, lift! <laughs> Skipping leg day again, huh, pigeon? It's just, it'd be so funny because they, you, they're they so used to flying, mm-hmm. and now they can't. Now they like, can't. Well, they don't know why. <laughs> know. Uh, and it says, last week, for the first time in recent memory, one was captured in B.C. Uh, this is kind of a curveball, said John Randall, Pacific Regional President of the Union for Canadian Correctional Officers. It's a long title. Yeah, it is. You gotta be, there's gotta be a shorter one. Pacific Regional President of the Union of Canadian Correctional Officers? Maybe they call him a UFC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or something like that. Uh, officers were standing in one of the fenced inmate unit yards when prisoners used regularly for hanging out, playing games, or just getting some fresh air, and then a pigeon flew in with a backpack of crystal meth. <laughs> From my understanding, it was tied to it in a similar fashion as like a little backpack. <laughs> my understanding, like <laughs> such, a, my understanding. such a PC. Now, what I've got through the what I've the information that, that I have I've received, gathered, yeah. uh, the sources are telling me. <laughs> the sources are telling me, which have not been verified. <laughs> uh, he was wearing a tiny backpack full of meth. <laughs> <laughs> like just a, such a piece. I could do. please don't sue me. I'm trying my best. Uh-huh. And then this is great. They had to corner it. You can imagine how that would look trying to catch a pigeon. Just keep, come on. Keep imagine, and all imagine, we need is the backpack. We're going to let you go. The inmates are like, oh, <laughs> you're going to get him. You're going to get him, dude. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So this also brought into the, the article also brought into the fact that drones are a problem too now because people can fly in mm. drones and drop off drugs in the yep. yard, um, which I didn't even think about. But yeah, no, you that, could drop it from way up, way up. You could just find the person mm-hmm. and park right above them. And then hope it lands uh, in the yard. And then you're in the general area and you walk up there and snag it. <laughs> and if it doesn't work, guess what? Try tomorrow. You're there. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> there, yeah. Try again. There's always tomorrow. <laughs> There's literally always tomorrow. We're going to have to put <laughs> some sort of a roof now. A drone back, <laughs> like a bird net for catching mm-hmm. meth. <laughs> what a fucking Can world. Can you imagine like the, the pigeon world. comes flying in like, they're like, all right, he's here. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> they're over in the corner planning this thing out. The issue, I know, that, that's where I'm going to go. The issue is, like, what they should have done is given a little bit of meth to the, to the pigeon and then strapped the backpack on. No one's catching that pigeon. Mm-hmm. That pigeon? That pigeon. He's running between the legs. <laughs> Just so fast. No, but yeah, it goes back to these things are being trained. Somebody is training these pigeons to carry Little drugs. soldiers. To it from the prison yard. God, that's funny. And it being in a little backpack. Uh-huh. And I just want the attention to detail. <laughs> like they had like a little Adidas. Mm-hmm. Like they're like Jan super, Sport. Yeah, dude. So follow me. <laughs> we had one growing up. Yeah, it was Jan Sport, but they they ripped it off. And it was a brand called Sturdivance. 
And the back of the pack backpack always said, follow me to Sturdivant's. Mm. They were never going to Sturdivant's. Mm-hmm. They're going to fucking PE mm. is where they were going, okay? Um, but it always said on the back of the backpack, and I'm not sure what their marketing program was, but it feels, feels like 90% of the kids I knew growing up, you could always follow them to Sturdivant's. Mm. And they never went. Um, Population should be crazy. <laughs> crazy. But just yeah, someone training these pigeons in extra detail, like just draw like, little adjustable straps. <laughs> A little like, and then you, you like, is that tight enough? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, you got the meth in the main pouch. You mm-hmm. got little pencils mm-hmm. <laughs> on the other, on the little water bottle. It's like a, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> bike helmet hanging off. Dude, I can't do this. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe, so like, the pigeons wearing a bike helmet <laughs> <laughs> with the little GoPro on it. Little GoPro on it. <laughs> He's now the drone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So oh, I, man. Uh, Looney Tunes used to have a cartoon where there was a guy that was like his act was training pigeons or training birds to okay. do little things. Yeah. And I think it was a joke based off training animals to do things, but he used to train. He had like a little, it was like a little bike on a tightrope <laughs> and he had all the little, that's what I'm picturing. Like <laughs> yeah. all the little things that, that we do like daring, but scaled down to this <laughs> mini little version uh-huh. and like and then so like you're tr- you're trying to plan like a bank robbery and you're pointing <laughs> all this and it's a you sending a pigeon in so you've got <laughs> tiny little safe imagine like <laughs> he's like trying to figure out how to open <laughs> a little teeny safe <laughs> like well, I don't want to make a pigeon little noise smoke but bombs. Yeah, little smoke bombs <laughs> <laughs> little little uh, uh, shiv yeah, or whatever. just like teeny shank. tiny, every little, every little thing. <laughs> All their toes have a shank, like fucking glued to <laughs> oh, it. Oh yeah. Uh, and then this situation, which again, uh, sure stereotyping, but let's go into prison, and we just got a bunch of gangs, some tough ass dudes in prison. What race are they, Joe? All of them. They're all the races, and they probably, I mean, from my understanding, they don't like each other. Um, but they're they're all the races, they're all the gangs, and they're in the prisons. <laughs> and then at night, they're training pigeons. <laughs> 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 just fucking and just, the black pigeons gotta stay <laughs> stay with the with black the, people yeah. and, the, and the white pigeons <laughs> yeah and there's gotta is there other brown pigeons they got they got hawks there's like a, there's gotta be like a light so col- yeah light. whatever whatever skin color whatever race you get your own flock of pigeons imagine like imagine a little with the little button up uh, <laughs> yeah. flannel Polo shirt just at the all top all the way to the top yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he shows us a little this is, this is terrible but like now like they're like ah oh, like I wonder where this pigeon came from and he lift the wing up as a swastika you're like oh <laughs> yeah. okay oh, the Aryans <laughs> Indeed, we know exactly where this came from <laughs> but it's so funny that they're they're Sewer all dressed 13. up yeah. the, like they the little uh uh, the, bandana? the bandana mm-hmm. with the tie in the front. Mm-hmm. They're all, all these pigeons are dressed according to <laughs> what gang they're flying drugs gang, to. Yeah, <laughs> and and if or like they're red or blue, or blue. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Red, yep. They used to have a little bandana hanging out their the back of their their pigeon pocket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the toughest guys. Yeah, they're like fuck you, like just like benching four hundred, mm-hmm. and then at night they're training pigeons. <laughs> yeah, they're just dainty. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. And the, like, or like the, the pigeon messes up, and they're really mad at it. Mm-hmm. And then you just picture the pigeon, like, <laughs> like just <laughs> yeah, can't even. Okay, job. Just what? walking. Look at me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> it just doesn't know. Listen, man, give my backpack. Get my backpack back. I can do better. Well, imagine. Go back to the the, oh, the guy man. like. Like he's bench pressing, <laughs> and then next to him is a little teeny table <laughs> the with the pigeon. <laughs> he just lift putting up, putting up an equivalent mm-hmm. of the same amount. But it's laying on its back, and its little teeny legs are pushing it, or well, his, yeah. his wings like the <laughs> yeah. shoulder press. Thing. He he, uh, he let them down last time. He got weighed down by mm-hmm. a couple of measly grams of coke. Yep, and he's like, I will never let you down he's again. Doing boss. squats. <laughs> Ah oh, shit. Anyway, so that um, walking around with a pigeon's paw in your or foot in your pocket. <laughs> okay, isn't that fish? Yeah, isn't so, that what they when they're it's their bitch? They have them hold their pocket or something. It sounds right. I'll let you hold my pocket, Brian. Mm-hmm. You get it. I like the sound of that. Anyway, that's <sighs> funny. Methy backpack. Any, um, anything that's little version of something I find just cute and adorable. Anyway, mm-hmm. you're gonna love my penis. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> All right. Well, should we move on? Yeah. Okay. Confessions. Oh, sorry. Confessions. Just this <laughs> big dude. Monster. Like the, the green big, mile size. Dude, he's huge. No one will fuck with him in prison. He he beat his entire family to death. <laughs> right. Bludgeoned him. With just his w- fists. Yeah. Like, and, and the report said... 
They have never seen a crime scene as gruesome as what uh, what heinous heinous as Charlie Smith yep. did. And he's mad. And then at night, he's just fucking amazing pigeon trainer. Just <laughs> so delicate. <laughs> like zoos all over the world uh-huh. are writing him in jail. Uh-huh. Like, hey, what's Pen your pals? secret? <laughs> yeah, what's your secret? Listen, we know you're not getting out. We would invite you to come show us how to train the pigeons. Uh, but we know you're never getting out. Can you Imagine, please tell us they what's just, your secret? They bring him to the... The, the they bring zoos, the pigeons in, but they, he's all chain. He's got all the chains up, but he, <laughs> I mean, all he needs is that's all he needs. He <laughs> trains fun. them to bring drugs into the, but the, he, he right. he's that fast. He's that good. Okay. So this when they, go ahead, when, when they, when they need, uh, like I imagine like the movie and like, we need someone to, to train these pigeons. I know a guy <laughs> and it's like, cuts the slow motion, him walking down the, the hallway with Chain his chains. Noises. Going. <laughs> He's got like a little pigeon on his shoulder. Pigeon tattoo on his yeah, neck. Yeah, he's got a pigeon tattoo. <laughs> With a backpack of meth. Uh, okay, so this first confession. Are you ready okay. to get into it? Yeah. Okay, so this first confession is the one that I hid from you. Oh, yes. <sighs> Diving Saddle right up. in. You thought maybe you were going to gag a gag at the start of the show. Yeah. No, I did gag. Okay. Um, thought I was going to puke. Mm, well, good luck here, sir. Oh, fantastic. Uh, listeners, beware. But I promise you, it's an amazing story. You just got to hang in there. Buyer beware. Hey, daddies. Hmm. Got you guys a real doozy this week. Boy, do you. Several years ago. Gross. I, <laughs> <laughs> I had a co-worker. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love I was co-workers. absolutely in love with. Oh, oh God, my God. Vomit. Several years ago, I had a co-worker that I was absolutely in love with. A really sexy guy oh. that would never normally give a chubby, funny girl the time of day. But we started messing around and being pretty close there friends. There goes my boner. You know? So we met up to have sex and go home. Well, this one night, after a vigorous 72-hour 70, juice cleanse. Oh, I thought you were going to 72-hour fuck fest. No, juice cleanse. Okay. Oh, Ready? Yeah. <laughs> so we met up at one of our spots and climbed in the back of my SUV, something we had done several times. Just an ordinary Thursday. Just a normal backseat fuck fest. While I'm riding him, everything's good. All of a sudden, I felt something very warm down in the playground area, but didn't think anything of it. So I kept going, and he wants me to get off and start sucking his cock, which I promptly did. As soon as I'm down there, I start thinking, damn, what's that smell? Thinking he had ripped a fart, so I just kept going. Just love that that was an option. And like it, how casual. Oh, it is embarrassing. It is embarrassing. Little toots during sex. Um, well, what's worse is a little s- well, while yeah. you're blowing. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little something on your chin. <laughs> a little chin music. You get it. Shawn Michaels. Uh, it wasn't until he wanted me to suck his balls that I realized the horrific truth. Yes, I was in fact licking my own liquid shit off oh, of his balls. God. <laughs> completely mortified i had no idea what to do so i just kept going (laughs) so yes i had in fact eaten my own shit off his balls we both never said a word about it and worked together several years after that i ended up having to block him from everything because he was constantly blowing up my phone and trying to talk well i mean (laughs) you know what his kink is thank you for allowing me to vent about what is quite possibly the most awful thing i've ever done can you imagine just shit dipped balls and you're like oh i can't stop now i mean what would you do i mean okay uh, gross i can't imagine i cannot imagine of just going down on somebody and then before you know it you're licking your own shit at least it's your own i guess so that's so that's where you draw the line well i know i'm not saying i would i'm just saying at least it's if it was theirs you're like oh my own shit not fine how co- oh. And you were cleansing, so it's not <laughs> like it was buffalo wings. You were cleansing. I mean, so whatever you were putting in there, you know, probably good for you. Yeah, <laughs> just recycle I mean, it. If it's gonna happen, at least it happened then. <laughs> celery juice is celery juice. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> just get Did it back in. It, oh, it tastes like what's what's uh, asparagus? Does poop taste like asparagus? Like pee smells like asparagus? I don't know. Are you a poop eater? Please write in. I'd love to. That's a, a fetish I will never understand, but I know there's people out there that just love all the poop stuff. I just love it. I mean, she was quite the trooper just to continuing on. I mean, she well, continued on after she thought he may have farted already. Right. right. And then she's she, like, and then looks her, he's eating her own shit. And she's <laughs> like, when you say it like that, 
Yeah. But so I want to go back to where this is like, and we never said a word about it. And I worked with him several years after that. Mm-hmm. So when, like, when there's passing in the hallway. Hello. <laughs> like, what? Top of the day. Did you get that report I licked, <laughs> uh, sent over? <laughs> TPS. <laughs> right. Uh, did you get that email I uh, brown cop, I blind copy yeah. you on? Oh, man, that one's just rough. There's nothing to say. I haven't been in that situation. I have been down in that area, and I'm sure many people have, where uh, I don't know what happened, but like you can definitely smell little poops, little poop down in that area. <laughs> Sorry, Brian. You fucking, I'm a freak. What do you want me to say? It's not. I don't have any problem with it. I'm just thinking about myself in that situation and how much... Like I want to gag now, but <laughs> like you not gag actually in the moment? being in the moment, mm. and I yeah, like it's just uh, yeah, it's a lot. It's I, a lot. Like, like I said, li- I want people to do what they want to do. It's not that. It's well, I just don't know what I would. And in this particular case, she did not want to do that. She didn't say that she hasn't done it again. So maybe like that's just like she's like <laughs> achievement unlocked, new kink unlocked. My. Shit on balls. Okay, let's move on. I, I want to know where they were doing it. Because like well, back they were the SUV. In, oh, I, oh, in the back. Because yeah. I I heard SUV, but I didn't hear the back. Because I was I was picturing in the front seat. Oh, maybe so, like, she's on top. And then oh, like, the how back, does she yeah. get off and then you know get down there? Like the, how awkward that would be. Just like, bumping the <laughs> revving the gas pedal. Yeah, like bumping <laughs> the all the shit. <laughs> Down there, <laughs> that's the only thing that could have made it more exciting. And flips it into drive. You're eating your own shit off someone's balls, and you're just re- just maxing out the RPM on the <laughs> gas pedal. <laughs> Engine starts smoking. <laughs> uh, okay, do you want to read the next confession? Sure. All right, do us a. Let's move on. We got to get out of here. Okay. Jeez, Louise. Hey guys, I have a confession or whatever. All right, fucking. When I was about 17, I was driving my dad's car home and uh, drove into a large brick pillar. <laughs> Perfect. At, at the entrance of our street, there was a pretty girthy brick pillar displaying our street name. Okay. Well, I took the turn way too sharp and scraped the absolute fuck out of the passenger side of my vehicle, hmm. uh, which was a full-size minivan. Hmm. Hopefully, it wasn't black. No. Uh, it was dented a good five feet along the doors, and the paint was down to bare metal. That's a pretty good scrape. It is. For a terrible paint job. Real. <laughs> I was pretty scared, sh- pretty scared shitless because I, uh, I know I knew he'd see it fairly soon. Okay. A couple hours later, he wanted to go out to eat, but I said no and stayed home while he went out with my little brothers. He managed not to see it until they're leaving the restaurant, and he called me to tell me he thought a big truck sideswiped his, in the parking lot, <laughs> and he was about to go see if they had cameras to show police. Whew. Meanwhile, I was uh, sweating bullets, trying not to sound guilty as I'm acting all concerned. Can you imagine? Oh, oh what? I, I bet you they don't have any cameras, though. I, I bet I, you it was the biggest truck. It was probably like a semi. What a dick. Was that, uh, was that, was that, uh, it's probably a truck made out of bricks. Probably. <laughs> yeah, it's like a brick truck, brick shithouse <laughs> it's truck. A brick truck, you know. You know, think, I mean, things are different. These, it's crazy how many people are driving brick trucks. Yeah, that way they don't get blown over. <laughs> right. Yeah, no matter what. You remember, wolf, you remember the story. You remember the story about remember the, the wolf. story. They took that to the trucks. Uh, took it to their grave. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, I was sweating bullets trying to sound guilty. They would never, uh, they, they never could get the cameras to see in the direction of where he parked. As far as he knows, 12 years later, someone got away with damaging his vehicle, and I just had to share a fun story of me being a dumbass kid. Which silver lining of all that, the insurance probably paid for it, right? I yeah, mean, but you lied to your parents. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. Who cares? <laughs> okay. Are you lying? Oh, who cares? But insurance probably covered it, and everybody's better off. Because if the parents knew that you were the one that did it, then your parents would have to lie to the insurance company to try to get it all covered up. Yeah, you did them a favor. You but he went in and thought 100% he got signed. And that, that confidence to the insurance company was probably enough to get it all paid for. So that's, keep lying. That's so funny when you know the, the truth. Like mm-hmm. Whenever you hear a lie like that when you know the truth, mm-hmm. and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And now Whoa. he's like arguing with insurance companies, fighting with Listen, you other businesses. <laughs> yeah. Put your manager on the phone! And you're like, <laughs> you know the truth. And you just playing NBA Jam. It's kind of like that. watching... He's when heating you, up. Heating up. Baseline leader. He's on fire. <laughs> whenever you watch a movie and you know something and the characters don't know what's going on and you're mm-hmm. like... Dude, it's right. It's so obvious. <laughs> it's right there. But you already know. It's kind of like that. Like, mm-hmm. I wish I could say something because I know, yeah. but I can't because <laughs> right. I'll get in trouble. Mm-hmm. Uh, you want to get into one more confession for this week? Yeah, let's do it. All right. You want to do it or you want me to do it? 
I'll read it. Okay. It was a loaded question because we're going to do it regardless. Hey there, daddios. Hey. I have a nasty confession for you two. Not another nasty one. Mm, Yeah, this one is pretty nasty. I remember now. I used to work at a retail shoe store. Gross. Mm. And had the world's worst general manager. I was assistant manager, assistant to the manager. Doesn't say that. Was it Al Bundy? Is this Al Bundy that's writing it? (laughs) Yeah. At the time. And I was tired of my boss's shit. So I was close to quitting and didn't give any more fucks. Mm -hmm. One day, she had brought in her lunch and asked me to wash her fork in the back sink. That is a shitty boss. Yeah. Excuse me, peasant. Hello, peasant. Wash your own fucking fork. Would you wash my fork? Watch. Not even wash. Will you watch my just fork? It, I would just put no. it puts it down on the table. Will you please watch my <laughs> fork? I'm gonna go. Di- I'm gonna go take a piss. Will you watch my fork? <laughs> Funny you say that. I took it to the bathroom, <laughs> which is where our back sink was. Turned around, peed in the toilet, oh, then proceeded to God. wash her fork in the unflushed toilet bowl. Oh! I gave her the fork as if nothing was wrong. It took everything in me not to laugh when she ate her food with the said fork. Hope you guys enjoyed the story. Love y'all. Oh, I, you know what I want to do? What? Piss on the I fork? I think we... Uh, <laughs> like, oh my God, this reminds me. what it tastes like. I've always wanted to piss on a fork. I think we may have talked about this, and I don't know, maybe we asked for this already. Yeah. But, um, well, yeah, I think we did. Just re- like gross things that you did if, when you worked at a restaurant to oh, yeah, yeah, customers. I, we, yes, did we did that, did. didn't yeah, we? Yeah. That's, That's right. pretty early on. And we got yeah. some good ones. And we still get some that come in to the email. Of uh, yeah, but you guys are there's some fucked up stuff that happens in the old fast food line. I just in as a person who eats fast food a lot, I just mm-hmm. every time I go, I'm like, why am I doing this? You yeah. know. And I think the last time we did confessions, which was really what not that long ago, last week was it last week? I <laughs> uh, was the one about shaving the feet off into the salad oh, or yeah. into the spaghetti. Or whatever it was. Yeah, would you like more cheese with that? Mm -hmm. Tell me when, or say when. (laughs) Say when. If it wasn't last week, it was the week before. It It was whatever the one was before New Year's. It was the one we recorded before New Year's. Yeah, so I guess it was was not like that, two weeks ago. But Doesn't matter, it's still gross. Still gross, and still amazing. Absolutely. But we get so many confessions, and they're so good, it's hard to wait uh, a long time to get those things in. But continue to send in all of these confessions to Hey Guys at Can Mm. You Don't Podcast dot com man those are some good ones any final words before we hop off to maybe some some good news for this week no i think i'm ready for some good stuff okay let's do it so you're telling me there's a chance hooray we aren't doomed yeah all right joe you ready for a cool story please make me happy about it this 19-year-old kid, okay. I guess he's, no, he's uh, technically he's an adult, but you to me, all, he's a kid. All grown up. Um, his name is Avery Suter. Mm-hmm. Suter? Suter? He's raising money, um, you know, just yeah. for, for charities or what. I don't know what, okay. the, what it's for. Probably to, like, send me. <laughs> probably just raising money for you. It's for your <laughs> GoFundMe. <laughs> for, like, what, a, like a bigger hot tub? Mm. Real, real important shit? I he's like, I'll do it. <laughs> we could all Wait, use a bigger in, hot tub. He's in, uh, yeah, anyway. Okay. Yeah, we could all, yeah, I know that, bro. We could all use a bigger hot tub, am I right? <laughs> am I right? You get it. Anyway, he's traveling from Maine to Florida. Florida. Here's why. Okay. A 19-year-old is traveling the entire eastern seaboard all on a unicycle. That is a long... Can you even ride a unicycle? No, I've never tried. I can't. My dad was a unicycle type guy. We'll get into, we'll get into mm. that here in a bit. Go ahead. Is he a UNICEF guy? Yeah. Because that seems like this kind of what this is. <laughs> UNICEF? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's what it was like. Hey, can you join UNICEF? And he went out and got a unicycle. And like, <laughs> like no. this? Okay, oh. well. <laughs> fine, you're in. <laughs> uh, since September, Avery Suter has used his unicycle to travel more than 1,800 miles and counting. His trip began in Maine, and he was spotted on Tuesday riding in Palm Coast. And he only goes about eight or nine <laughs> miles an hour, he said. Suter said the trek will, uh, is all to raise money for the East Coast Greenway. A cycling route that organizes hope, uh, hope, oh, shit. A cycling route that organizers hope will eventually connect 15 states. His goal is to reach Key West by next month. <laughs> that is, I mean, good for him. His poor taint. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, those seats are pretty, pretty nice, right? <laughs> I don't know. Eh. <laughs> eh, I was waiting for it. <laughs> uh, no, but my dad would ride a unicycle. He f- fucking 40 miles in a day. 
40? He, he, yeah. He just get bored and ride from... And you had to go pick him up? <laughs> not this time. And that was on a bicycle. We'd mm. go way farther. Maybe not quite 40, but he had ridden his, his, motor, or his motorcycle. He's like, Joe, I didn't make it to Colorado. Can you come pick me up? Where are you? Just south of town. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need a cycle? <laughs> yep. Yep. My taint hurts real bad. <laughs> No, but he had like a like a monster unicycle, like a custom made one that was fucking god. The wheels were three and a half, four feet. That's like a circus one. Mm-hmm. And then he would just pop up and imagine that guy with the giant <laughs> uh, bike. Remember in the old <laughs> the tiny days, wheel, the tiny wheel and the big bike, and like wearing a suit. Ding ding, and he's like riding forty miles on late that. for work. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> he's juggling at the same time. <laughs> with a bit with a mustache. His mustache is juggling. He's just juggling three jobs. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what he's doing. He's making the amount of money he made back in nineteen seventeen. <laughs> One dollar. Right now. He made he made ninety four <laughs> cents today. Uh, Enough with the Sunday paper. Dude, I was watching a show that took place in the twenties not too long ago and they were talking about how much they made. They're like thirteen dollars a week or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, you're gonna get a raise, two hundred dollars a month. Mm-hmm. Yikes! Good God, <laughs> that'd be terrible. Thir- thirteen dollars a week <sighs> doesn't even pay for a movie now. Thinking about what I was doing at nineteen. <sighs> oh, Shh, dude, is that Siri yours? needs to fuck our, off. Our watches, well, these 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 gloves that we're wearing always push the buttons yeah. on these watches. They just. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, they push them because um, mm, they're fucking hardcore. Yeah, they are. They they want to. They they control us. We don't control the gloves. <laughs> uh, Nineteen. Not responsible just, for what I do when I'm wearing these gloves. I was just fucked up in college. Is what I was mm. doing at nineteen. This guy's like, you know what? I'm gonna ride my unicycle to raise money for something that's gonna impact millions of people down the road. And I'm like, yeah, I'd rather fucking drink champagne off some titties. He's probably just doing it. Well, that's what that's why he's doing it. It's not really for charity. <laughs> yeah. It's so he gets all the people to recognize who he is. And so whenever he walks in a room, they're just throwing I'll tell you what he's not doing it to for to get laid. Because <laughs> no, so. <laughs> <laughs> no that one the can, unicycle is that guy. The, oh <laughs> fan, like fanning themselves. <laughs> oh my god, is that that's Steven? Is that Avery? <laughs> Avery the unicycle guy? <laughs> not, nope. <laughs> not, not the hottest ride. <laughs> Hop on, babe. Walk behind me, babe. <laughs> I'll, a little, I'll, give, I'll give you a ride home. A little wagon that you got a pole behind it. I'll give you, I'll give you a ride home. Get on my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put a trench coat on and we'll pretend to be a person. <laughs> Look how tall we are. That's funny. With your little head peeking out the bottom. <laughs> Never had a night like this, had you, miss? <laughs> <laughs> you're giving her you're giving you're some, not like other guys just this like <laughs> this fucking dime like a 10 in every state mm-hmm. around the world a 10 you've somehow gotten her to be like yeah i'll go home with you you get out there you unpack your unicycle <laughs> you, 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 you snap the seat up whatever <laughs> clip it into place <laughs> And you're like, hop on. Pumping up the tire. <laughs> you get on your knees, like, get on my shoulders. She's like, fucking white, like, get on. And then you get up. <laughs> she's on your shoulders. You're on the unicycle. You're juggling. <laughs> and you're pedaling your ass back to your apartment <laughs> where no woman has ever been before. <laughs> like, that is. <laughs> you know what I'm doing this, babe? Bad yeah. toots. Toots. Here, catch this one for me. And like throw, like throw one up a little bit higher. Okay, drop it down. Hey, and you just fucking <laughs> now grab that chainsaw out of my backpack. Grab that chainsaw out of my backpack. <laughs> what? Set it on fire. Trust me. Ha, ha, ha. Like doing a little forward pedal, backwards pedal. Forward pedal. She's just she's trying. like she's like Jesus Christ! Like she's about to throw up. <laughs> All right, one, two, there's three. That, there's always that audience falling Jump around. off. Yeah. If you ride a unicycle, explain you, a harmonica. You have to know that people. So there, you always have an audience because anytime doesn't matter where you are. If you see somebody on a unicycle, you stop <laughs> Do and a look trick. at the person on the unicycle. <laughs> is right? that a guy with wow? Is that one wheel? Have you ever seen a guy on a unicycle and not stopped <laughs> and just watched him for a second, or like yeah, or just didn't even acknowledge that he was on a unicycle? No, absolutely, he's on a yeah. unicycle. Look at that guy! Look at that guy! He's, look look he's riding a unicycle. Look at that guy's on a unicycle. <laughs> Your brain's never like, nah, just another day. He's <laughs> the guy doing travel. <laughs> just a mobile human. That's so funny to think about. <laughs> it's another the, guy going from point A to point B. <laughs> it's like one. It's kind of like the when you see someone riding down on a bike, or but you see a guy in a unicycle, and like every they, people pull out their phones, <sighs> do a trick, recording some mm-hmm. guy on a unicycle. <laughs> it's just some guy going out for exercise. I am pumped, Avery Suter. Good job, man. Like I mean, I hope that the trail that you're you get a lot of for, tail from it. Yeah. <laughs> 
tail. <laughs> we all know it's not going to happen. <laughs> all right, you ready to move on? Yeah, I just I just picture like this dude riding up like he's trying to be all threatening. <laughs> But he's not like he's pulling to a you, drug sir? deal. Imagine him rolling to a drug deal with a backpack. <laughs> with a unicycle? He's got like he's got a, the money or the drugs are like in his backpack and he rolls up to this dude and Just gets like, off his motorcycle. Now I'm picturing like a whole gang of but motorcycles. They're on, no, they're all, but they're on unicycles. They're all on unicycles. With leather jackets and they sell drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Just a group of them rolling up. <gasps> like people batting down the hatches. Like, uh-huh. oh shit. Like, <laughs> you don't want to mess with those guys. <laughs> they come squeak, riding squeak, into squeak. town. <laughs> <laughs> like always kind of like losing it a little bit. Because they're juggling. They're juggling, juggling the, kilos, the, the, of like kilos of, of <laughs> heroin. and <laughs> Just juggling guns. <laughs> it's another day. <laughs> Cowboy hats. I don't know why. <laughs> Like, why, I'm picturing in the Wild West. Well, the, and everyone like else the has horses, one. and they're fucking like the cap gun. What? <laughs> <laughs> I love the smell of cap gun. But if, yeah, me too. Or, and gasoline. <laughs> All right, I can go on about that for not gas straight out of the gas. It's like when you're pumping it in a car. Yeah. It's the it's the Fumes. secondhand secondhand gas. gas. The secondhand gas that gets you hard, right? Yep. All right, let's move anyway. on. Okay. The internet is pretty wild. Depending on your browsing habits, you can either experience something super cool or go to prison. Crazy, right? Let's check it out together as a couple. Hey, look what I found. Yes! That's awesome! All right, Joe, I'm sure a lot of people have seen this before. Yeah. Um, but uh, Abdullah sent in this. It's called the uh, Buttress. Buttress? Pillow. The Buttress Pillow. <laughs> All right. And, and it looks like. Do a, I know what it is? Like just off the name? Well, try to guess. Uh, it's a butt pillow. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Like a mistress. Butt are, okay, got uh, yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. And so they're they're shaped. I mean, like there's a. If you go to the website, <laughs> I'm looking the, at the gallery right the now. Thebuttresspillow.com. But the the main like the main page. If you just kind of scroll down through the website, okay, going to home. There's animation. There's like a GIF of this woman. <laughs> oh yeah. Like snuggling in, snuggling this because it's like a bare skin. There's one with a a thong on. <laughs> and there's another chick with like she's cuddling up next to it. Looks like it's got leggings on. Mm-hmm. And then there was a picture I saw earlier. The, the guy looked like he had his face in the crack of this thing, like he was well, sniffing her ass. Wait, well, what else are you gonna do? Oh, there it is. It's at the very bottom. Okay, going. It's going down. Okay, all the way down at the bottom on the right. Yeah, it's the, a woman. The buttress pillow. <laughs> yeah, it just looks like she's getting a massage, but her face is in the taint. In the taint. Is it 2023 yet? Is the caption? Yeah. Doesn't matter. Your face is in a butt pillow, lady. Taint look. Um, How good could things be going? I mean, butts are comfortable. Yeah. I mean, I like a. I mean, who doesn't like a good butt? Yeah, a good squishy butt. Yeah, I don't spend enough time laying on butts. Do well, you? here you go. Oh, but I. Um, I agree because well, there's you there's know, something there's, risky about it too. Like you don't know if you're going to get a toot in the ear. Yeah, this is one way to avoid that. You you get all the benefits of a butt, but. The cons. Well, not without. I mean, minus the chance of of anal? your partner. <laughs> minus anal. You can put. <laughs> well, they have they have ones you can actually do that with. Oh my god! Just thinking about like okay, combo company buttress pillow flashlight. Mm-hmm. Just cut a hole in your pillow, pop a little flashlight in there. Yeah, you're welcome. Or you could just get There's like a, a, a can... pair of leggings for one of those fuck butts. <laughs> Don't they have those? They're like. Yeah, I'm sure they do. They're, they're shaped okay. like a... <laughs> yeah, or you get some fishnets for a fuck butt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll take you the, idiot. The, the Ass Pounder 2000. <laughs> Sneaking into a sex shop like, hey, psst. hey what? You got any leggings for a sex butt? <laughs> you bring in your own <laughs> leggings. You're like, while you're trying them on. <laughs> do, you have, do you have any sex butts here? Um... <laughs> Is that the what we call them? I don't know. Do you do you mind if I take it out of the box and try these leggings on? <laughs> right, and make sure they fit snug. Uh, yeah, but you can buy a butt pillow. I like that. So, <laughs> if you're looking for a, a funny little gift, I, and I bet you that. it's very comfortable. Imagine yeah. bringing this onto an airplane <laughs> with like a like a thong on it. Yeah, and like because you're not doing anything illegal, it's a fucking. Butt you're gonna pillow. get some looks. It's like yeah, the you guy. Are. It's like you rode in on the airplane with a <laughs> unicycle. <laughs> You're going to get some looks. You're also going to get some great sleep. Uh-huh. <laughs> so it's a toss up. Uh, you okay. wake up and some other guy's laying on it with you. He's like, there's two cheeks. Do you mind if I take the right half? No, come on in here. Come get on in here. Choose your booty. So oh, I love it. The 139 for the big one. one oh, they're all. Those are expensive. But. 79 for the little one. Okay. That one's on pre-order though. I can't get <laughs> Wait, that one yet. 
I don't know why a little butt freaks me out. Because now, like, now it's like a kid a butt. child butt. It's a kid butt. Now you're weird. Mm. What should we call the cops? What should we call, call the cops? Let's call the cops. Uh, Thebuttresspillow.com if you want to check out the butt stuff. All right, ready to move on? Stuff. Want to move on to some emails? Yeah. Okay. The internet is pretty wild. Depending on your browsing habits, you can either experience something super cool or go to prison. Crazy, right? Let's check it out together as a couple. Hey, look what I found. Yes! That's awesome! Our kids are so nice and they send us nice things. Yes, sometimes they make me mad. Oh, people were asking, just a reminder, in the episode description, there is our address for like fan mail the people want to send stuff in they're mm. asking if we had a p.o box we do have a p.o box and it's linked in the episode description on whatever platform you're using right now just go down to the bottom and it says all that stuff right there uh so our first email is coming in from our son chubbs he had a wild year ready <laughs> hey daddies call me chubbs you got it i started the year by leaving a job i absolutely hated after years of being underpaid and overworked the day before my last day at work i found out that i won the lottery how what? sick is that? $100,000. But after taxes, came out to about sixty nine. dollars Nice. More money than I've ever had in my life. Could you imagine? It, it actually comes out to seventy one. dollars and he's like, can you, <laughs> he's you can take an extra $2,000. I just wanted to be sixty nine. He's like, please make it sixty nine. dollars It's better luck for me. So he says, I traveled Europe and the UK for three months, drinking and eating to my heart's content. As soon as I got back to the US, I had a friend pass away. I moved to a new area where I had no friends and fell into a deep depression. Couldn't find a job after applying to so many. Started driving for a rideshare company as a source of income and immediately got rear-ended, causing whiplash and back injuries. Uh, it took over a month for my car to be fixed due to parts coming and damaged. It's been a wild year, to say the least. Love your loyal son, Chubbs. God, that's Win the lottery, lot. get real, rear-ended and fucked up. Yeah, that is a wild ride. You, you're. It's like your best... Down, up, down, you, like up. holy shit! I don't have to work for this shitty job. Mm-hmm. I got all this money. I'm gonna go live my best life, mm-hmm. and then now you're like suicidal. <laughs> you come back and just be like, "Fuck." Well, I'm glad that you're okay, Chubbs, because getting rear-ended is. I mean, it sounds like enough to really fuck your car up. So I'm glad that you're okay. Um, Whiplash is no joke either, and I've never known somebody uh, that has won the goddamn lottery before. So. Chubbs? Well, nice we won the lottery just to get to spend time with each other. Oh, are you hitting on me? That's so nice. Hey. No, my butt's hitting on the chair. I hear it. Uh, you <laughs> want to read our next our next email? Yeah. Love you, Chubbs. All right. This is for Big Step Daddy Boy with a Y. With a Y, yes. I remember him. Um, this is an old, in, an old email okay. that I didn't realize was old until I saw the date. Okay. Welcome, by the way. So he's welcoming to the, to to the, the world. show. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. This dude. is an old one. I've actually been following you since Donnie Do It All. What? Holy cow. Mm. Donnie Do It All. McDan- he was a character I created way back. Okay. Dad and Bloat and recently Boy Moms Be Like segments. That's mm. awesome. Well, mm-hmm. that, dude, that's way back. Now, when I was talking about having a masterpiece of, or when he was talking about having a masterpiece of poop. Uh, which would have been episode mm-hmm. one, mm-hmm. right? Um, there used to be a website called RateMyPoo.com. I remember RateMyPoo. Um, yeah, it's not around anymore. Is it? It's not? I clicked on it, and then it took me to a virus. Oh, let so, me take a look. No, I'm kidding. It's just a stool company? <laughs> now, now you know what it is? <laughs> you know what it turned into? It's not Rate my poo. it's Rate my pussy. Oh. And it's just pictures of, of vaginas. Really? Uh, yeah, pause. One second. I'm a guest, and I'm a man. Enter. Uh, I accept your terms and conditions. Did you click on the link? I sure did. Your pussy rated live. Oh. Must be 18 years or older to enter. The Four million fucking me- What is happening? Look at this. I'm in a chat room right now. <laughs> that with was just quick. Some- with just somebody rubbing their pussy. And what? There's a f- like I can Let talk to any of these people. Is that one of those fake? No. Pop, pop on over. Check it out. Oh, what? See? Wait. What's ringing right now? My sister's calling me. Oh. So, yeah, this, this room is full. It says, oh, it's full. You can't oh, join it anyway. Nope. Need to create an account. No, thanks. Nope. I didn't uh, want to do that. Me. That's all. Oh. I know. Look at this. Room seven. What? Connecting to room seven. Yep. It's another one. This one is trivia chatters. What? Let's see what's going on over here. Yeah. So, it's just people... That, is that live right now? I think so. That's what she's doing right now. I think so. I don't know for sure. I can't prove it, but I feel like it. Someone just gave me a thumbs up. I'm the only person in here, so that they knew that was me. 
I was the only. I'm the only person watching this person. They just gave me a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Hell Bienvenidos. Yeah, Great. Uh, why is I, I didn't know this. It's keep keep reading. I'm gonna go to the smoking uh, lounge. Wait. Um. Oh shoot. Um. Okay. Uh. It's where. Be, anyway, the rate my poo is. This is where the people <laughs> post pictures of their poop and caption it with other people who rate it. Captions like the snake, which is super long spiral poop. The Lincoln log, where it has to be big ass log. The eruption, where it's like a small splatted shit around the toilet, pretty much diarrhea. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Okay. My personal fa- personal favorite, the Kraken. And yes, weirdly looked like one. <laughs> People are proud of their poop. They're fantastically gorgeous, disgusting masterpieces. I do wish uh, you could see the original website, but there's a Reddit post about it, and you'll uh, see some of it. Love the show. Sorry for the long email, but I'm super glad to get it. And last fucking weird humor and is with your adopted Filipino son Josh. By the way, I'm not from the Philippines, from the Bay Area. To win this, how come the toilet? To win this, how come the toilet paper uh, couldn't cross the street? Oh, go ahead. Why it got stuck in a crack. <laughs> classic the reason i brought this email in was because a buddy of mine and we used to we used to have this idea that uh i had never seen rate my poo and we had this idea for it was called turd connoisseur.com and we were gonna basically do the same thing of people upload their poop and you and you rate it and all that kind of stuff Mm -hmm. and one of the ones we had was the uh, mount turds more that was one of them pretty good but we had this whole brown friday thing that the day after thanksgiving Instead of Black Friday, it was going to be Brown Friday, and everybody sends in their shits of after their Thanksgiving meals. I don't remember if I talked about this on the show before or not, but <laughs> this was my chance to do it again. I'm half listening, half just ch- chatting with people. Yeah. I just wrote in there, I said, I said, hey, I'm talking about your guys' channel right now live. And then everyone's like, yeah, it's all live. <laughs> all right, never mind. <laughs> never mind, you don't get it. There's no real people <laughs> there. I don't there? know. Yeah, there's chat. It's a whole chat room. It's like AOL chat room style thing is what I was just saying. It's like, oh. <laughs> oh man I, yeah rate my poop I'm, i never send i'm not a poop sender but i have friends that did do the poop sending thing um we yeah we used to do it via text vigorously mm-hmm. all right you ready to wrap things up get after wrap the, it up get after the bonus side here yep remember if you want to hear the bonus content that we do every single episode head over to patreon.com slash can you don't podcast you can also find a link in the episode description uh, I think we just had the biggest week ever mm-hmm. as far as our Patreon goes. Got a ton of new people in there. So thank you so much for being a part of the gaggle and honk honk motherfuckers. And we're, uh, it's been fun doing the doing the extra stuff. We get to dive in a little bit more. And we're trying to come up with some other things too mm-hmm. to, for the kids. Make keep, it fun on that. Keep, it's, it's tough to keep kids entertained. Because they're, they're, yeah, their focus is always darting all mm-hmm. over the place. They like, want more. Look at this. Look at this. You want mm-hmm. this toy? You want this toy? Uh, fighting us, over toys fighting over toys follow us on Instagram and Facebook just search for Can You Don't Podcast that's the same for YouTube and you want to send something into the show hey guys at canyoudontpodcast.com if you want to lick shit off my balls uh, you can go ahead and send me shit and I'll put it on my balls and the P.O. box is linked in the episode description oh and then I'll wait. film Brian licking shit off my balls and put it in the Patreon account for everyone to look like uh, look like I don't know Rate and review wherever you listen to the podcast and of course big thanks to the babysitters that moderate the Can You Don't Playground on Facebook. You got a joke or something? I'm not, I'm not going to read it. You got the joke this week. Okay, here we go. Good God. Wrap it up already, huh? I find this joke funny now because of what we talked about earlier with the unicycle. Oh, all right. I'm um, intrigued. But why, why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? Mm, why? Because it was too tired. I get it because it's two tires. Because it needs like four tires why to, did the to uni- balance. Why did the unicycle fall over? I don't know. Wasn't getting enough ass. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Steven or whatever his name was. Avery. Avery. Avery's suit and Sutton. Imagine him as like, he they get he gets in the room, he turns like some, oh yeah, sexy music on. And he like hangs, I love that example hangs of up sexy his, music. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah you wanna. <laughs> yeah. you put on Stained or Creed? <laughs> <laughs> Hold me now. I'm six, six feet, feet down the edge, and I'm stinky. My own prison. <laughs> that is sexy time music. Uh, successful thirty one. Lots of laughs today with you, Bri. Yeah, it was let's, fun. Let's Excited the, for thirty two. Yeah, let's do the bonus shit. Ready? Yeah, uh, I'll and, see y'all in there. Yeah, unless huh? you're not on Patreon, we'll see you next week. We love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.